I don't believe. Oh, good. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, I uh, we're live now on the air. I'm gonna. Three, two, one. T minus four minutes. Oh, four minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, wait, is that the countdown? What? No, did I miss? <laughs> it's gone, though. <laughs> so uh, I got uh, this guy Joey next to me. He's very jittery. You're going to hear him. His dialogue way better than mine. He's missing like the talk to rockets as they launch. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, okay, let me uh, let me find the NASA feed. Including closing the propellant fill of nine valves. Um, actually, Joe? if somebody's in the chat and can get me a link to it, that would be rad. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? What's Joe, that? Joey, do you want to? We have some podcasts on here, some people watching it live. Do you want to rock this if this happens? What's that? Can you do bad words? Can you do bad words afterwards? Wait, who, who me? Uh, no, I got this guy. Joey is super, super space nut here. He's uh, been to tons of launches, knows a hell of a lot more than I do. And he is, he, when we talk about the palpable excitement, that describes Joe. Oh, great. Hey, Joey Dude. or Joey? Joey. Joey. He's jumping up and down right now. Oh, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we're going to have, we'll put it, I'm going to hand, I'm going to hand the phone to you. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get a feed right now. Um, it looks like NASA is offline on their Ustream feed. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes? Holy cow. And Joey is now molesting people near him at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like, I guess NASA TV is off the line, uh, off the air, so we're not able to see it. I think there are too many people trying to get into the feed. Hmm. Coming up on two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Awesome. Here, hey, Joey, tell them who you are. Hey, Joey. I am Joey Vars. I am a senior at the University of South Florida in St. Petersburg. That's... Uh, last year, I had an internship at NASA headquarters in the communications office, and I have been beyond passionate about space flight since the age of two, Dude. and I'm almost 22. Is this is this so your first this launch to, to watch? This this is actually my tenth launch. Um, the second I've seen with press accreditation, um, independent press accreditation, but this is the closest I've been to a launch at Cape Canaveral. Wow, that's um, awesome! Seen, uh, of the of the ten I've seen, I've seen two up in Virginia. Oh, uh, okay. I, number one, I didn't even know that they launched rockets from Virginia, but that's awesome, um, uh, dude. This is great. So, so, what's the countdown at right now? We are at about what T minus sixty seconds. Did we say? We're at T minus. We are at T minus one minute right now, actually, and I'm gonna temporarily hand the phone back, and I'll reconvene with you guys in just a minute. You got it. So we are uh, uh, Andrew Main, of course, live uh, at Cape Canaveral for the second day in a row. Yeah, I'm back here, guys. Uh, uh, Joey's reaction is, is part of what makes this really special. He's literally bouncing up and down right now. That's awesome, dude. You're about to get your face smashed with so much power. Oh, I know, yeah. Yeah. So what are we at now? T minus 20 seconds, guys. Ah, doggone it. We're not going to get to see it, but we're going to get to see it through your eyes. So you're going to have to sell it. Here we go. Lift off. Oh, that's great. Oh, my God. There it's going up. It's going up. Uh, oh, it's beautiful. So we hear it over the speakers. We don't feel it just yet. Now we're feeling it. Now we're getting the rumble. That is awesome. I'm I'm hoping. Oh my that... god! Yeah. Oh my god! That is an amazing feeling. Holy cow! That is that loud. We just got the feed in time to catch it. Joey just got an erection and beat his pants at the same time. 
Wow, that's monstrous. Going up to the clouds. Oh my god, it's amazing. And a bird soars past by. Say this ever as we did. It's up in the clouds. We can see the trail. Now it's vanished from sight from us. Do a little bit. We can see a little bit of a glimmer. Flock of birds, majestically and released almost as if on cue, <laughs> soars across the bay. That's amazing. Guys, so we have launch. So how how loud now, it, how loud would you would you would you say it is? Um, it's loud. It wasn't as loud as let's say when, like watching a shuttle launch, but a Delta Four is a big heavy rocket. I mean, it's a big rocket. Yeah, we we we, we got still the... hear it. So it went through the cloud there, so we can still hear the thing, but uh, we can't uh, see it. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, e Easy Smoke in the chat room. Very literal last second got me a, a working feed for the NASA HD. Oh, fantastic. And uh, so we were able to see it just as it lifted off. And I swear, man, uh, some of these shots, they, they genuinely look like you're seeing the exhaust behind an, an Imperial Star Destroyer. Oh, Cole, come on in here. Hug Harbor. We're, we're doing the hugs here. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. So, um, that, uh, just as you reported to us, Andrew, we can now report back Hold to you. Hold on a second. Uh, say that again. I was saying, just as you reported to us, we can now report to you that, uh, that everything still looks good from the live feed. Think about this. We have a live feed from the, the side of the, sh the rocket. We're about a minute away from the separation of the tanks or the side boosters. It, it is astonishing that we're able to watch this live right now from from the uh, craft. Wow. Yeah, we don't have that feed here. All we're hearing is, you know, the relaying to us through the speakers here. So uh, what, what, what we're seeing is, and this is the curious thing, is uh, obviously it's an artifact of the time of day, but, but as it leaves Earth, we're able to see uh, gorgeous uh, yellow-red um, sun, sunlight reflecting off the clouds as it goes. And I, and I can't tell if the, um, if, if the curvature I'm seeing is an artifact of a wide-angle lens or if it just mm -hmm. really is that far already out of Earth's atmosphere. But you, you have a, a clear, uh, gorgeous shot of the planet Earth below, and i got to assume they're about to have first stage separation. So uh, I'm going like, to let go now because I'm getting some interference here, but now if you guys, yeah, NASA TV has the rest of the coverage, but from here, from our end, Oh, what was so, that thing they just reported? Separation. We have separation now. Okay, so we're about to see it then on the, again, I can't get over the fact yeah. that we're, we have a live cam attached to the side of this rocket. Uh, it's astonishing. I'm sure we're about to see it any moment now. Formation here. Oh, there it is! Wow, that separation is a is a visceral and powerful event, man. You see a decent explosion, and uh, in the two external. Uh, uh, I don't know. If hey, great. I'm gonna go now, uh, but uh, uh, I'll try to do some updates a little bit later on. But thanks to everybody who's able to tune in. Uh, this is fantastic. It's exciting. It was wonderful to see this thing go off. There was a lot of skepticism of what happened, and it did. You got it. Thank you, brother. Take care, man. All right. Obviously, Andrew wants to go play with his new best friends. Uh, on behalf of all of Weird Things, um, I alone, apparently sick uh, at 6 in the morning, <laughs> am here talking to you guys, and I'm so glad that I saw that, man. That is really, really cool. Um, Four minutes, 46 seconds in, still looking good. Yeah, still looking good. Uh, all right, guys, I'm going to shut down the live feed, but thank you to everybody who tuned in to watch with us. Five minutes into the flight. Um, to go to the partial thrust command, that partial thrust command about 15 seconds from now. A little bit of history being made.
All right, guys, I'm going to say it because Andrew's not here to stop me. Awesome history. It's been weird. Five minutes, 20 seconds in. And we have partial thrust command in the core. Core chamber pressure beginning to go down. As expected, standing by for Miko. We have Miko, the main engine has cut off. Standing by for state separation. Each have state separation. Heads is deploying, the nozzle has been extending. Standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark and we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressures beginning to rise. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we're taking over commentary at this point as we come up on the first two critical Orion program milestones, the service module fairing panel jettison and the launch abort system jettison, standing by for those first two critical events. The uh, service panel uh, jettison uh, has occurred. The three 13 by 14 foot panels have separated. And we have launch abort system jettison. The 361 pound solid propellant motor has pulled the launch abort system free from the uh, upper stage and uh, from Orion. Everything going extremely well. The first two critical uh, milestones have been accomplished and we are now processing uh, telemetry from the Orion spacecraft through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Coming up on the seven minute mark into the mission, Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, now 127 miles in altitude, some 700 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Wow, they've already gone 700 miles. That's amazing. Reports here in Mission Control indicate that Orion's uh, guidance uh, systems are up and running in good shape. This view once again of the uh, service module fairing panel jettison that occurred uh, just about a minute and a half ago. We are now coming up on the eight minute mark into the flight. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, 142 statute miles in altitude. Almost 900 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. 900 miles. GPS systems on Orion uh, have uh, come into full agreement uh, with navigation systems on the spacecraft. Orion is functioning perfectly at this point. Orion heading uh, almost due east from the Kennedy Space Center in an orbit inclined uh, just about 28.4 degrees to either side of the equator. Eight and a half minutes into the flight, the upper stage is currently traveling and carrying Orion to its preliminary orbit. Now traveling at a velocity of almost 14,000 miles an hour, its altitude flattening out. The uh, upper stage ignition uh, will continue for about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds from the time it began with uh, SECO 1, or a second stage cutoff number 1, just about eight and a half minutes from now. And this is our first view from uh, cameras on uh, the Orion spacecraft streaming video that, are, that is coming down, being processed through the tracking and data relay satellite system, showing a view of the Earth as Orion is being carried to its preliminary orbit all of its systems operating in excellent condition on this uh, first test flight of America's newest spacecraft. We are also processing uh, telemetry through the Antigua tracking station in the Lesser Antilles, southeast of Puerto Rico. Coming up on the 10 minute mark into the flight, Orion is traveling uh, almost 15,000 miles an hour nearing its orbital insertion velocity.
Ten and a half minutes into the flight, everything ex going extremely well. This view from uh, one of the cameras in the Orion spacecraft looking at the limb of the Earth as it heads toward its preliminary orbit, sailing over the uh, South Atlantic right now. Currently uh, 155 statute miles above the Earth. The upper stage of the uh, Delta IV rocket, uh, once it cuts off uh, on this first of two such burns for the upper stage in about uh, six minutes and 45 seconds, will uh, have left uh, uh, Orion in an orbit uh, for its first lap of the Earth of about 560 by 120 statute miles. So far, all of the guidance and navigation systems on Orion operating perfectly as it rides at the top of the uh, upper stage of the Delta IV rocket uh, that uh, began its maiden journey at 6.05 a.m. Central Time, 7.05 a.m. Eastern Time, just uh, right at the peak of sunrise over the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Coming up on the 12-minute mark into the flight, Orion now passing 15,000 miles an hour, almost 1,800 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The next major event, five and a half minutes from now, that will be SECO-1, or second stage cutoff number one. That will be uh, the cutoff of the uh, upper stage on the uh, Delta IV rocket, the engine uh, that has uh, propelled uh, Orion at this point uh, uphill towards its preliminary orbit. A second burn of that upper stage uh, will be coming at the one hour 55 minute mark into the mission. That will be a four minute 40 second burn that will take Orion out of uh, low Earth orbit towards its peak altitude of some 3,630 statute miles above the Earth. About uh, 15 minutes uh, after SECO-1, or the uh, shutdown of the upper stage engine on this first of two burns that the engine will perform, uh, Orion will be commanded into a barbecue roll, uh, basically uh, like a piece of uh, meat on a barbecue spit. It will uh, roll uh, on a very, very slow basis to provide uh, very even thermal conditioning over the spacecraft uh, for the duration of its flight toward deep space. Thirteen and a half minutes into the flight. Orion in the upper stage of the Delta IV now traveling 16,000 miles an hour. More than 2,100 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Very quiet here in the flight control room. All the flight controllers uh, belonging to the flight operations team under the direction of Flight Director Mike Serafin uh, enjoying the view from Orion's cameras, this first ever view from America's newest spacecraft as it continues its climb towards its preliminary orbit. This will be two orbits of the Earth, the first elliptical, the second highly elliptical, out to a distance of 3,630 statute miles, passing through the Van Allen radiation belts twice before its high-speed entry back into Earth and a parachute-assisted splashdown some 600 miles uh, to the west of Baja, California, with the uh, total duration for this test flight expected to be four hours, 23 minutes in duration. All right, guys, I hope you don't blame me, but I'm sick. Um, I'm going to go back to bed. Uh, if you want to go, it's uh, ustream.tv slash. In fact, I'll post it in the chat is where you guys can watch the feed live. Glad I was able to get this to you.